Okay, this is how to uh, install Visual Studio 2017 Community version. Uh, open the uh, Google browser or um, any browser and uh, Google uh, Visual Studio 2017 Community Download. And it's going to bring you to Visual Studio that Microsoft come dot downloads and click over there and you're gonna have Visual Studio 2017 free download click on free download over there it's going to start downloading an application uh, that that application gets installed it's an installer for Visual Studio after installing that that installer will install Visual Studio 2017. So let me just click and open that one. Run. Visual Studio installer is being installed on my computer. There you go. Click on continue. Wait for downloading and installation. Now that it's completed, it's going to start installing it. And now that the installation is uh, completed, the uh, main installation is going to begin. There we go. So now it's uh, going to try and install Visual Studio 2017. Make sure at uh, the community version, make sure that you have desktop development with C checked. and and then you click on install one thing I have to so let me just click on install and why this install I'm going to mention something uh, it's a very good idea to update your computer before you do this installation because there may be some uh, things in the new Visual Studio 2017 that you need the latest updates for uh, that's going to make sure that your update that your installation is going to go smooth now we're going to wait for downloading and installation to complete and then we'll see if the installation uh, is uh, successful or not. This is going to take a while so make sure uh, you're going to do this uh, at a time that you can let your computer computer be for a, a long period of time. Uh, it has enough it should be it should have enough battery uh, hopefully connected to internet properly in a in a reliable internet connection. Sorry, what you do over here is uh, um, that if you have a Microsoft account, you can actually uh, create your create an account over here, uh, uh, enter your account information over here, and uh, um, it's going to keep your settings and um, makes everything personalized. So if you actually have Visual Studio somewhere else, you're going to have all the things moved from one to another, and you can have. Uh, uh, create uh, being communities and so on and so forth but um, you can just say not now maybe later and then um, continue with Visual Studio um, different types of uh, themes you can choose um, I always go with it by the default so I'm just gonna say I start Visual Studio and it starts it if you look at the time over here 719 I think it was 7 when we actually started so it took around 20 minutes to do this I paused it so it's gonna prepare it for the first use and finally here we are and now we have Visual Studio installed again it wants you to sign in if you want to uh, let me see um, Oh, as you see over here it says your evaluation period has ended because I already had Visual Studio installed on this and uh, I uh, removed it and uh, reinstalled it right now for this demo so I'm, I have to sign in for it to uh, activate it for me. You're not going to have any problem, you can just say uh, maybe later and continue. Okay, I entered my Seneca information in here and now uh, I have Visual Studio ready to, to be used. So I'm going to close this and here we go. Visual Studio is ready to be used.